Hi everybody, we're here at AUSA, and AUSA is a great opportunity to connect back with organizations that want to connect back to the Army. And here, we're able to meet with Ms. Danielle, who is a veteran, who's a soldier for life, and she is with GE Healthcare. But more importantly, what we are able to do, not only here at AUSA, we do every single day. We connect with organizations that want to connect with the Army, um, and to be able to find opportunities for our service members. And so I wanted to have this chat with Danielle today and talk about, it's not necessarily GE or, or Amazon or anything else, it's really about how do you transition and how do you transition well, and what is that cultural fit that you're looking for, and just kind of your perspective of what you see, and why having veterans on your staff is important. Sure, thank you so much for having me. Um, as she said, Soldier for Life, always. I was blessed to be an Army officer in the Medical Service Corps. The biggest thing about transition for myself was that I wish I would have had an organization like Soldier for Life to be able to not only facilitate my transition, but to be able to reach back to and say, I think I've got it, but I need a little more help, or I found a company that I want you to know about just to continue to give back. Um, biggest thing about transition that I would say is make sure you find a company that has the same values that you do coming from the military, uh, respect, selfless service, all of those things that builds a soldier. Which we hear quite often that uh, the reason why companies want to hire veterans is because they understand that a veteran is valuable because we come to that organization with discipline. Um, the simple things of being at the right place in the right uniform, and in that case, in the corporate, corporate fit, right? Whatever yes. that uniform may be, but just being present and accounted for and, and wanting to give back. And I think that's the biggest piece we also hear is that community aspect of veterans just want to be part of something and, and they want to give back. Um, and we hear that. Find that cultural fit that makes sense for you. Um, besides cultural fit and besides doing the research, what else are you seeing? So the one thing that I do see is individuals thinking they might not fit into a company because of the company's name. For example, GE Healthcare. I have a lot of service members that say, but I don't work in healthcare. My MOS isn't aligned with that. There's so many different layers underneath organizations. We hire VMEDs, we hire logisticians. So understanding that your skill set and your leadership can be tailored to almost any organization. In the military, you're asked to do one thing one day and another thing the second day. Right. It's never the same. And to be able to bring that skill set to the workforce is highly valuable. So, you know, we, we get this all the time um, that being connected to Soldier for Life has been valuable for not only the organization, but also for the service member. Um, and then what we also hear is that we want to leverage the relationships that we have in helping our service members, especially spousal. Because spousal employment is huge right now. Depending on where you look, you're looking between 16 and 24 percent unemployment within spouses. Um, but and they are highly um, unemployed and underutilized, and they have so much skills to give back. So I think what is also important, and I think you know we talked about this earlier, is that it's not just the veteran, not the person who you wore the uniform, but their spouse. Yeah. Um, how valuable they are to the team because they bear the brunt of all of our PCSs and our moves, and they're they're fighting that fight too. And so I think it's important that it's it's twofold. It's not just the service member, but it's their spouse and the skills that they bring. I agree, and it all comes back to first, soldier, whether it's soldier, family member, veteran, it's all about people and understanding that once a soldier, always a soldier, soldier for life, that encompasses that family unit. That's something that when you get out, you need to find a company that's going to be your second family. That's something that I particularly look for. How, how did it fit with my family unit? What was the health care like? What was my travel going to be like? All those things that are still part of your everyday life, just like deployment. I travel now just like I did in the Army, just in a different capacity. Um, but again, the skill sets that both the family member has and the service member are a perfect match. So again, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule and um, giving us a shout out. But really more importantly, just kind of giving a perspective from the cultural corporate side of, of what we can do to help prepare our service member and at the same time, how do we work with a company such as yourself to receive them um, and build out the next step for them? 100%. I would say most corporations um, do have veterans in their heart. They have outreach programs such as GE Veterans Network. So there, there's tons of resources that you can find on, on the internet, um, such as GE Veterans Network, and seeing what
whether it's the location or the job that you're looking for, know, know what are your non-negotiables and let that be your time. Thanks again. And for everyone out there, make sure you follow us on all of our social platforms, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And also don't forget, we have a podcast series. Be sure to tune in. They're 20 minute long episodes, bite-sized information that's very important for you and your family. So again, tune in and tell us what you want to hear. Thank you so much. And thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks.